In this video, we'll be looking at the four lip glosses and four lipsticks from the Wonder Woman collection. The lip glosses cost $19.50 each, and the lipsticks cost $15.50 each. Please make sure to look at the information bar for the links to the other videos covering the eye products from this collection, the face products, and the nail products. As with the other products from this line, these lipsticks come in boxes that are decorated with art that you would see in graphic novels and the art that you would see from the Wonder Woman comic. Similar to the packaging for the eyeshadow pigments, the boxes for the lip products have an outer sleeve that's decorated with that artwork, and then a red box slips out. Here's what the tubes look like. Here are the four lipstick colors from left to right. We have Marquee which is a re-promoted color. It first came out in the Blonde Brunette Redhead collection, which came out in 2009. Then we have Russian Red, which is a permanent color, Spitfire, which is a limited edition color, and Heroin, which is also a limited edition color. We'll start the swatches off with Marquee. This is a luster finish lipstick, and Mac describes this as a sandy cream peach and it has shimmers in it. Next is Russian Red, which is a matte color. As you can see, very pigmented, very bright. And this is a cool toned red, so it has a blue base. Next is Spitfire. This is a satin finish lipstick. This is a magenta color. Last is Heroin which has a frost finish. As you can see, it's very sparkly. And Mac describes this color as a brown bronze. So up close, we have Marquee, Russian Red, Spitfire, and Heroin. All these colors go on very smoothly, and they all have very nice pigmentation. Here are the four lip glasses from this collection, and as you can see, they are jumbo-sized in comparison to the regular-sized lip gloss on the left there. Regular lip glasses are 0.17 ounces, and the Wonder Woman lip glasses are 0.37 ounces, so you're getting more than twice the amount that you usually would with a lip gloss. Starting from left to right, we have the color Emancipation, then Wonder Woman, next is Athena's Kiss, and the last one on the right is Secret Identity, and all of these colors are limited edition. In addition to the two being jumbo sized, the wand here, the doe foot applicator, is also jumbo sized, and as a consequence it's a little difficult to get out of the tube here, so I would suggest just slowly wiggle it back and forth and sort of be careful so that you don't splatter the product around everywhere. We'll start the swatches off with Emancipation. Mac describes this as a pale neutral pink color and it has a ton of shimmer in it. Next is Wonder Woman which is a true red color also has some pearl shimmers to it. Next is Athena's Kiss, which is a fuchsia color and has a blue base to it. Last is Secret Identity, and this is sort of a copper color, also has shimmers in it. So here are all four colors. This is Emancipation, Wonder Woman, Athena's Kiss, Secret Identity, and all these colors have pearlescent shimmers in them, and they all give off a very nice amount of color. As you may have noticed, the lipsticks and lip glasses from this collection go very well together. The colors kind of parallel each other. So Marquis and Emancipation are almost the exact same in color. Russian Red and Wonder Woman are both these bold red colors. Spitfire and Athena's Kiss are both fuchsia colors. And then Heroin and Secret Identity are both these bronzy, coppery colors. So if you like a color in the lipstick, you'll probably like it in the lip gloss and vice versa. 
I thought some of you may be interested in what the lip glosses and lipsticks look like together. So I'm going to take these lipstick swatches and put the lip glosses on top. So first we have Marquee and we're going to put Emancipation on top of it. Not a huge change there. Very similar in color. Next, taking Russian Red and putting Wonder Woman on top of it. Again, they're very similar in color, so the effect you get is just a bit more shimmer and a little bit of intensification of that color. Then we have Spitfire, and I'm going to put Athena's Kiss on top of it. And last, we have Heroin, and I'm going to put Secret Identity on top of it. So overall, not a big change in the color that you get, which makes sense since the lip glosses and lipsticks have very similar corresponding colors. But you can get a nice shimmery effect and glossy effect if that's what you'd like. So overall, I'm really impressed with these lip products. Both the lipsticks and the lip glosses are very pigmented. They go on smoothly. The lip glosses have a nice sparkle to them. And what's even better is that you can pair the lip glosses and the lipsticks together. Please make sure to check out the information box, and I will put a link to the other videos covering the eye products, the face products, and the nail products. And make sure to check out the blog, and please subscribe.